What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus Driving this rainy Cold evening um, Had a bit of snow this morning um, Actually covered the cars And covered the ground And then eventually As the day went on Just basically turned into Really really cold rain uh, I guess Not quite freezing yet um, hasn't gotten that cold again. When I left out the house, it was around 30. But it ended up getting close to 40. So, by the time like it transferred over to rain, it was too warm to be freezing. And now that I'm heading home, it's still holding, as my car is saying, around 37 degrees. So, hopefully, by the time I get in the house, I don't have to worry about slipping and sliding on any goddamn ice which yeah not about that business at all so made a quick purchase on the way home um i saw this store i went to the grocery store because i had to get some stuff um and there was a liquor store next to the grocery store i was at and they had cavassier on sale for really really cheap well, cheaper than what it normally is. Definitely. At least 10, 15 bucks cheaper. And I was like, okay, I'll get that. And part of my reason for getting that is because a wave of nostalgia kind of just gripped me. Um, Grasse was my mom's favorite drink. Oh, it's pretty dark where I'm at, so you probably can't see me. But uh, yeah, Grasse was my mom's favorite drink. It's funny, Kawasi and Coke. That was her thing. Um, God rest her soul. Uh, and it just like the wave of the, like the memories of being that kid. Like, I don't know if people still experience this. Um, where all the old heads are in the basement partying. And you as a little knucklehead kid is like just sitting at the top of the steps listening. And then sometimes the grown folks will call you down or call you into the party and all of that. Because they drunk. Um, and they always want to see you do something silly or they always want to reminisce about like when you were yay high and all that shit. Um, weirdly enough, I was good at mixing my mom's garage and coke. So, you know. It was it was cool because I was like able to give her her favorite thing the way she liked it. And it's my mom, of course. I'm her son. Of course, I'm gonna do that. And you know, getting to sneak a little bit, you know, which probably is why I got so many drunken old man rants over the years because my mom made me a connoisseur of the libations. Um, but those were fun days. And I don't know, now I'm heading to another grocery store because I have to get a certain ingredient for this dish she used to make me called um, sausage and red rice. And I was like, yo, let's just have a night just to like be like back in the day when I, you know, when I was younger, you know. Drink a glass of Carvacier. Uh, I probably drink it straight because, um, yeah, cognac is preferred that way. And Cavassier is really good. Drink it straight, um, and then I'm gonna make this this called sausage and red rice that my mom used to make me. My favorite um, dish as a kid. She used to make it for me like once every couple of weeks. You know, that was, it, 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 that's what made it so special because it wasn't like I just got what I wanted all the time, you know, my favorite meal. You know, it was a treat. And it's really, really good, really, really easy to make. I should put a recipe somewhere in this video if I think about it when I get home. But yeah, just because, you know, holidays kind of can be rough. Um, 
It's been officially five? No, Jesus. Six years since my mom's died. On August 5th, 2014, um, she passed of colon cancer. Um, and, you know, the, the like, sadness has faded away. It's not completely faded away, but it's faded, I would say, to where it's more culpable. And that's what happens, though, when you lose someone close, like a close relative, a loved one. You'll never not feel the pain of their loss, you know, especially your mom. Um, unless you and your mom didn't have a great relationship. I guess that's, you know, the only thing that I can think of that would do it, but... When it's somebody that you truly cared about, you miss them. And you never will not miss them. Um, sometimes you have moments, like I'm having this moment now. Um, but the pain subsides. In fact, doing this video, I just realized I need to call a good friend of mine to see how they would do it, how they are doing. Because they just recently lost their mom. And, you know, I was telling them, like, I know... I'm going to say this, and I know it's not going to, like, matter or not, but it gets easier. It doesn't go away, but it gets easier. And, you know, I'm hoping that they're doing okay. I hope if you've lost someone close um, to you, that you are dealing with it better, um, and things have gotten easier for you. Because it's rough losing someone, but like especially again, especially like your mom, it's just it's just hard. And like around the holidays, it starts to kind of like you know hit you hardest because you remember those moments. Um, so yep, I'm going to go get this last bit for this dish. And then go relax a little bit, cook. It's kind of late, but fuck it. You know, I'm used to not eating early anyway. It's better that I cook than to go get some fast food. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, just chill out. And yeah. hey, that's it. Um, I mean, shit. I need to dry it off because I've been getting soaked with these deliveries. I tell you, it's been a pretty busy night in this first evening of official um, scale back for my county, by the way, due to the pandemic. Um, yeah. I've rambled on enough. Hope you guys are okay. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything is going good for you. You know, be careful, be safe as always, and be good to each other. Anyway, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll hold you later. This is your boy, Black Megas, and I'm out. Jesus.